so once you've got your you found your person exactly and everything like that you found who got the clip i got this on face it if you guys can see but it doesn't matter where you got it from it's uh everything's gonna be fine so once we got here you're just gonna skip forward to the round where you hit the clip obviously face it as knife rounds and stuff like that so it's like it's resetting um we did get owned this game because i was playing at a pro level just because i wanted to know how i how i do but um turns out i did all right because i managed to hit a clip so <laughs> so i got this on the second half so i'm just going to keep so you got as the round of you're just going to keep skipping forward until you find your desired round um mine was not this round was not this round was it this round might have been this round let's have a look did i buy no i didn't did i pick up a gun wait i did wait hold up is this the round i can't remember if it's the round or not i did go out okay i remember that no it was not the round so it's probably the next round i got no it wasn't this round because then i spawned over there this this round <laughs> oh my god yeah because i went afk for a little bit so I'm just going to resume until I start actually moving properly. So like that. Got a nice animation of the knife as well, which is good. So we've got to close out your demo UI, but make sure you keep Counter-Strike open. And you're going to open up this. And I did start getting mad, so yeah. But anyway, let's clear that. You guys don't need to see me raging. <laughs> oh, God. So what you're going to do from this point, guys, is going to open up your console. You're going to type draw underscore, wait, no, CL, sorry been a while cl underscore draw only death notices one and what this will do is to get rid of your hud completely so you're going to type in demo ui once again and if you're going to hit resume and pause then it'll get rid of everything other than your kill feed up in the top for those call of duty fans out there so once you do that i'm going to find the exact point so this point here because i know i pick up that ak and then that starts the clip off so from here you're going to open up your console once again and you're going to type actually now you're going to type in post underscore frame rate and then i'm going to set mine to 600 because i like doing really slow mode but you guys can change this to 300 100 7 million which i don't think the game runs at that but mine's going to be 600 you can change that number to whatever desired fps you want i do 600 because i like getting the slow mode and the bullets flying out my knife flicking out doing stuff like that so I like the slow mo, so this is why I have it on 600. And then from this point, you're gonna type in. Um... <laughs> All right, so sorry about that, guys. I just had a bit of a brain fart. Uh, so what you're gonna do now, guys, is after you've typed in your frame rate, your death notices, and everything like that, uh, you're gonna type in host underscore time scale. Yep, that's it. Time scale. And you're gonna set that to zero. So now you're completely ready to start recording, so I'm going to quickly put that and then I'm going to type in, no, actually no, I'm going to do it legit, so <laughs> it's okay, now guys what you need to do is you're going to type in start movie space and then the name that you want, so I'm going to call mine part one, I'm going to hit enter. Uh, and what it's going to do guys is after you type in start movie and then the name of what your movie is going to be. Uh, it's going to say speaker configuration and everything set to stereo speaker um, Started recording movie frames will record after console is clear So what you're going to do guys, you're going to just close out the console You're going to hit resume, close out your demo UI And it's going to play the game very, very slow uh, Don't worry guys, this is meant to happen This means it's recording at 600 frames a second So yeah, it's going to be rather smooth and uh, as you can see, guys, all the sides of the buildings are nice and straight. It might freeze every now and then, but that's just because it's trying to boot up. It might go not to load up all the frames. As well as if from face it, it probably doesn't help. So this is what I mean by the slow-mo, guys, because you can slow all of this down so you can have it so it clocks the Glock nice and slow. Um, so, yeah, so pretty much, guys, you're just going to let this run through and record until your clip has ended. Once your clip has ended, you literally, well, I'll show you guys, so... Now, I don't need it recorded, I've already got it recorded. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna type in stop. So you're gonna record the AK cock. There you go. So now I'm gonna type in stop demo. Sorry, got a space in between that. I'm an idiot. So stop demo, and this will close out your demo, and then you're gonna type in quit. And once you've done that, guys, you'll be jumping onto the next part, and that will teach you guys how to virtual dub your clip and everything like that. 
anyway, let's go. All right, okay, guys. So once you've recorded your demo, you're closed out of Counter Strike. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm itching my head a little bit. <laughs> Right, so once you've closed out Counter Strike and yeah, you've got your clip recorders and that, you're gonna find where you save virtual dubs. So I'll save mine here. You're gonna open up the virtual dub, so V dub 60, 64, so the 64 bit, and you're gonna go to the top left where it says File. You're gonna go File, Open Video File, and this will open in your CSGO. If it does not, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Program Files, uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Counter Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, and there's all your clips. So you're gonna find the very first one. So it'll be whatever name you typed in in the console. So mine was 1v5 underscore AK-47. And it'll have four zeros at the end of it. You're gonna just double click that. And what it's gonna do this is import all of the all of the right frames and clips and all stuff like that that you need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip forward a little bit. And we're going to just make sure that all of them are there. So I'll stop mine off quite away, like without it finishing, just for tutorial purposes, because I don't need it recorded out properly and to save time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to back to the beginning, and we are going to skip forward till we find till my guy's arm decides to come down. There you go, because it does glitch out. Oh look at that! The knife doesn't actually pass properly. It goes through the hand. Don't see that in real time, do you? <laughs> So what you're gonna do is you're gonna skip forward to when the guy's running. So I think about there is about looks about nice. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that arrow here, and then what this will do, and then you're gonna click that arrow and delete. And what this will do is it'll chop off the beginning bit, so the clip will actually start from here, play through to wherever. So I'm gonna have the clip. I'm just gonna pick up the AK and run around to here, and then I'm just gonna click that again and then hit delete. Which it didn't work, so I'm gonna skip forward even more. Actually, you know, I'll just leave it all in. So you're gonna just clip out the bits that you want, and once you've done that and you have all your clip looking nice and proper, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the top here where it says video. You're gonna click that. You're gonna hit frame rate. You're gonna open up this. You're gonna where it says no change current frames 10 frames per second. I'm gonna change that to change frame rate two. And I recorded mine. So where you typed in host underscore FPS, whatever the number was, you need to remember that number, guys. I had mine at 600, so I'm gonna put 600 in there. People have about 300. Some people don't have about whatever number you put in there. I don't understand. I don't care. Just put in the number that you recorded it at and hit OK. In order to do this, is make it to play 600 frames that second, so it'll be playing it in real time, obviously. And then from here, what you're gonna do is you're going to click file. Yep, so you're going to hit file, save as AVI, or hit F7, and it'll open up this page here. I've already got mine saved, so I'm not going to, but what you're going to do is you're just going to call it whatever, whatever you want to call it. Save it to wherever you want to save it, and then click save. What it's to do this is render out, so as you can see here, I'm going to change mine to like, there you go. What it's going to do is it's going to open up this page, and it's going to start rendering out your clip. So once you've got this clip sorted guys, I'm going to show you how to actually put it in Vegas or whatever editing program you use and actually edit the clip up. So I'll get you guys over there. Sorry guys, we're not going on the editing part. I actually had a brain fart then. <laughs> what we're actually going to do is we're going to record the audio for our clip. Otherwise it's going to be a rather silent clip. So what you're going to do is you're literally just going to launch Counter-Strike Global Offensive once again. Still in the same settings as you did before with this notice that pops up. It's really annoying. Can I make the notice even smaller or something? But anyway. So once you've got this loaded up, what you're going to do is you're going to type in the same command as you always type. So you're going to type in demo, no not demo, sorry. We're going to type in uh, exec space auto exe mvm. If you open up this, like, uh, uh, yep, that thing, yep. Oh my god, it's getting late. If it's not really that late, I'm just, uh. anyway. <laughs> And what we're going to do is we're going to type in demo UI once again. And we're going to open up our demo UI. We're going to hit load and we're going to scroll down to where our clip is. So here's my clip. I'm going to just open that up like so. Wait for it to load up. Right, okay guys, so once your demo has loaded up nicely and you're and you've connected in, so I'm here. 
we're going to go to demo UI and we're just going to skip forward a few rounds. So uh, I'm going to skip skip forward to where you where you hit the clip from. So I hit the clip on the second half. So let's just keep going. You don't want to go too quick with these skipping forwards. You don't want to spam the button because you can crash it, which will not be good. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep skipping forward until. We get to the right clips. Wasn't this one? It was not this one. Was it this one? I don't think it was. No, it's the next. Oh, it was this one. So what you got to do is you got to pause it, and then you got to type in C L underscore draw only. Oh, hello. Draw only death notices one. You're going to type in post underscore frame rate, and you're going to set that to zero this time. Uh, this will play in real time, and then you're going to type in host underscore time scale, and you're going to set that to one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up your demo UI once again. You're going to hit resume so you get all the audio gone. So yeah, you can hear all the kids in the background. So from this point, what you're going to do is you're going to type in start movie rather. And I'm going to call it audio, but you can call it whatever you want. But audio, cut, uh, close that, hit resume, play. And what I'm going to do is record the audio. Uh, you might not be able to hear it, but it will actually record the audio for you guys. So it's going to be rather laggy, which isn't good. So we're just going to record the audio. You can see my terrible aiming, um, which is always good. And how I hit the clip when I have aiming like that. But once you've done that, so you're going to record all your audio, your audio is nice and sorted. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in stop demo. And then you're going to type in quit. Exit out of that and then that's your audio recorded.